Where is Jacob? That is the question Patty and Jerry Wetterling have asked every day for the last 26 years. They spoke today for the first time since the new developments in their son's disappearance. We were caught off guard like all of you, and we don't have the answers yet, but I refuse to be silent. Last week, authorities named Daniel Heinrich a person of interest in Jacob's kidnapping. As Natalie Naya shows us, the Wetterling's message of hope has been has been renewed as they appeal for answers that will finally bring their son home. Patty and Jerry Wetterling expressed gratitude today for developments in their son's 1989 disappearance, presenting a united front at the end of their home's driveway. The reason we wanted to do this here is because this is this is where it happened. They've endured 26 years and thousands of tips in their search for Jacob. Now a potential break in the case has given them encouragement. No one plays a more important role than you, everyday citizens, in reporting that little piece of information when added to other pieces of information will solve the puzzle and bring Jacob home. While there are still no answers about their son's abduction, Daniel Heinrich is being pursued as a person of interest in Jacob's disappearance. He's being held on charges of possessing child pornography. What we do know is that child sexual abuse and abduction is something that we can't tolerate, and I refuse to be silenced by this man. Patty Wetterling passionately condemned the victimization of children, calling it a serious problem. But her message of hope was clear. It's our job to make a world where kids are safe. We can build a world that values its children. Where the children are safe. Doug Wood wrote a song so many years ago. He wrote, there's a dream that we dream how the world should be, where the children are safe, where the children are free.